all the sisters speak and the brothers speak about the hijab is so true. I just speak very uh, briefly about the hijab. The hijab is the, my uh, obedience to the God who created me, who loves me more than anyone else in this world. And have the hijab is not connected to the God. The hijab is come in the modesty. It's not only the head covering, it is over all your demeanor, over all your how you speak, how you talk, what you say, and how you treat others. That's all come in the modesty and hijab uh, is a part of the modesty of hair. Hijab is a way to guard ourselves from the negativity. Hijab is the way to focus on the one's relationship with God. And hijab is that you do what is good and discourage what is not good. Our hijab is the one for it, the Muslim we stand for it, and I stand for it. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning. My name is Purita Kano. I am from Bangladesh. My organization name is uh, SEFIS. Today is our victory day because uh, today is our hijab day. Our hijab, our right, our love, and our choice, our hijab. Oh, sorry. We want to hire. We want to hire our hijab and still feel safe. Thank you, everyone. Less than one minute. Also, hello. I realize right now it's not time for long speeches. I'm kind of going off the dome. I also didn't know World Hijab Day was a thing until. I also didn't know World Hijab Day was a thing until a couple of days ago. And uh, I think that me coming here and speaking is really just a portrayal of the confidence and the strength that Hijab gives women. Because I wouldn't have the confidence to speak right now if it wasn't about Hijab. So, Bismillah. All I want to say is, because I have to keep it very short, um, I felt throughout my life, I just started wearing Hijab in I felt throughout my life that I wasn't very connected to any which way of who I was. Because I am half self Korean, half Hispanic, and half Pakistani. And I, I didn't really feel like I belonged anywhere. But hijab is a place where you belong. I see. And I, when I say this, I really mean this. I agree so much with everything that all of my sisters today have said. And when I say sisters, I really mean sisters. I really mean sisters. People are people. I feel like I know them. I'll smile at them and I'll hug them and I'll love them no matter if I met them a couple of seconds ago or if I've known them my whole life. Um, so I just want to say, uh, inshallah, hopefully the drag will show in our show, whether it be how we act or what we're wearing. Thank you for having me. I'm very happy to be part of this. Yeah. Thank you so much. Now I'm going to uh, conclude this uh, event. I want to thank to all more than 20 women, Muslim women organizations in New York City to join us today and uh, celebrate this hijab day. Thank you for all your support. I'm sure you will continue this journey of life with hijab. Thank you so much all media here, Dunya News, Bursa TV, Mami uh, ITV. ITV and other city uh, press I saw here. Thank you so much, my Commissioner, Deputy Commissioner, David Commissioner, Franchise, and thank you so much. Our mayor gave us the opportunity to stand here and showing our strength with hijab. So I'm going to raise this slogan again. This is not only the day celebration. We have to continue this journey. We have to continue to taking hijab without any fear, without any discrimination. And it's here, inshallah. And we will continue generation to generation this, uh, our identity. Thank you so much, everyone. Inshallah, next year we will celebrate not city hall step, we will celebrate inside the city hall. Inshallah, thank you so much, all of you. And I'm going to ask Pastor Woman to distribute all the jobs among the Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you.